Hi, I'm Royal Bateman. This is my assistant, Adam Mason. And, and you're, you're watching, watching Snow, Snow College, College Cooking. Cooking. Today we're going to be making a common dish here at Snow College. Ramen spaghetti. Yes, that's right. Ramen spaghetti. <laughs> ramen spaghetti indeed. Well, first what you're going to need is you're going to need a pot. Hey, just a common pot because you're going to need to boil your ramen. Make sure you have two packets of ramen. Okay? You're also going to need some hamburger that's special on top. I don't know. If you don't want hamburger, you can just go with straight up. I go with Prego or some other sauce. doesn't matter. You can go as cheap as you want. Of course, you got to remember, always have your fatty spray on hand. Nobody likes burnt ramen spaghetti. All right, first off, I'm going to get my hamburger going. I'm just take a little bit, just as much as you want for how many people you owe. I go with like probably an eighth of a pound or a quarter pound for the sauce I want because I really like sauce. We're going to come on over. I'm going to pop it down in our pan. Make sure you coat it with a fatty, fatty substance. So we got it cooking. Now you just, you just want your hamburger cooked. Then we're going to let it cook. And as you look over here, we got our ramen boiling. And Mason is going to come over and show us how to carry that on. Okay, you got to add salt. And the reason you add salt is because it brings a little bit of flavor out in the noodles. And you just got to love that. Okay, as you can see, we're coming to a boil. So that means we got to put our ramen in. Look at this, we're making a mess. Remember, if it doesn't get all over the place, it doesn't belong in your face. Okay, so we get our ramen out. You can hang on to the flavoring package if you want, but it's not needed. Put your first one in. Open the other one. Flavor packet again. Mmm, that's gonna come out so good. Okay, first, make sure Make sure you get a, a fork of some type. Make sure the noodles come soften up a little bit because you don't you want to you want them to be stringy and, and beautiful and tender. So simply just kind of pull it apart with your fork. Simple enough. As so. Mmm. Oh, look at that, I spilled. That's okay. No harm done, no harm, no foul. Okay, now it's pretty much broken apart now. Now, you just wait for it to cook, so keep an eye on it, and uh, wait till it comes out juicy and tender. Okay, so we got our hamburger right here. Just keep it in the center of your pan, small pieces, and lay it out. Or right, we got it spread, and we're about done. And what we're gonna do, Oh, that looks good. That looks great right there. You're gonna get your can. You're gonna get your pan, your uh, tomato sauce. You're gonna go ahead and you're gonna dump quite a bit of that right in there, okay? Stir it on up. We got our tomatoes. Now you wanna turn down your heat. You get to this point really low. We got our tomato sauce and our hamburger all cooking away. And you can add salt and pepper as needed. I like to add a little salt in there. After you strain your ramen, now it's time to get ready to eat. By doing so, put our ramen, start putting our ramen into a bowl here. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Mm. It's delicious. So, so good. Better than my microwave ramen. But you can microwave if you want. Yes. That is a quicker... But for spaghetti... That's a right. quicker alternative. Alright, let me take our pan with our sauce. I'm gonna coat... Mmm. I'm gonna coat our spaghetti sauce on there. Look at that. Look at that. Does that now look gorgeous? 
Bon appetit. Once it's all ready, you got it all done. Now it's time to enjoy the fruits of your labor Delicious. by eating. Mmm, delicious. Mmm. Mm. So good. I'm Royal Bateman. I'm Adam Mason. And you're watching Snow, Snow College, College Cooking. Cooking.